quick timeout and be back. You're watching the NFHS Network. This presentation of the NFHS Network is brought to you by American Dairy Association Northeast. Your milk comes from a good place. All right, we're back. And the winner of this game will take on the winner of the North Jersey non-public B. And that's between Montclair Immaculate and Morris Catholic. So that's going on at 7.30 tonight at Franklin High School. So... That'll be the winner of this game. We'll take on the winner of that game. So, to mention St. Rose comes in the number one team in the state. They only have two losses on the season. They lost to the Patrick School National Team, 62-59, and then lost to the number one team in the country, Montvert Academy of Florida in the Metro Classic, 84-55. But Montvert beats everybody, so that's not a big surprise. They beat Ranny, who was the TOC champ back in 2019. So, you know, they're pretty much a Division One team, uh, Montvert Academy. So, no surprise there. And the winner of the North Jersey non-public A was Don Bosco Prep. They beat St. Peter's Prep tonight, 56-42. So, they will take on Paul the Sixth at Rutgers on Friday. And we thank you. And now for the starting lineups. First, for the Bishop Houston Crusaders. Number two, Ian Glasshopper. Number three, Delano Mann. Number ten, Braden Delaney. Number eleven, Dylan Adamash. And number twenty-five. Tom And now for St. Rose, number three, Matt Hodge. Number 22, Gio Pantini. Number 15, Brian Evelyn. Number 35, Evan Romano. And number 33, Jaden Hodge. Head coaches are Robert Falconero and Brian Lynch. Falconero for Bishop Eustace and Lynch for St. Rose. And we'll have our national anthem.
Updated score from the girls non-public A. And it was at halftime, and Paul the Sixth was beating RBC 23-22. So that's probably well into the third quarter. Bishop Eustace in white with gold numbers and green trim, and St. Rose in the purple with gold numbers and the white trim. Matt Hodge will jump it up against Dylan Adomanis. And one by Eustace on the tip. Over Simaraglio to Colleen. Panzino on him. Panzini, right? Glass mocker. Panzini. Some, that's Thomas Simaraglio. His three brothers. See if they slow it down a lot and just cut the possessions. Tipped away and coming out with it is Eberling. Panzini back to Eberling. He loses the ball. Up ahead. And foul from behind. Foul is on Evan Romano. That's his first. Thomas Simaraglio will miss the first. There's a shooting foul. And missed that one too. So 0 for 2. And if you're to use this, you have to. Hit foul shots tonight if you get an opportunity. You're not going to get too many, most likely. Hodge has it. Well, Matt Hodge to Jaden Hodge. Throws it back. Pansy whips it around. Three is on the way. He's good there for Brian Ebeling. Screen set. Over to Glassmacher. Whip it over to Adamanis. Off his leg and almost a push there. And shots no good there by Semiraglio. Now a break for Ebeling and the Purple Roses. Panzini gives off three-pointer Romano got it Evan Romano hits a three six nothing purple roses spin and back out glass marker being hounded by Ebeling Back door, a block from behind by Panzini. Romano spins. Panzini fakes it, gets a tip. 
Romano feed inside to Hodge, puts it up, and missed it. Jaden Hodge with the miss. And it goes out of bounds. It's going to go to the Purple Roses. Screen set. Matt Hodge back. Ebeling drives, puts it in. He's got five. And it's 8 nothing. St. Rose, timeout, Bishop Eustis. And we'll take a timeout as well. 8 nothing. Purple Roses, you're watching the NFHS Network. Finna make common sense cool again. No tripping, I'm the man, car slipping. I'll be 20, 30, 50 high. Something to send to Uncle Sam. No, it's hitting fans, only so in federal land. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Check his post, he ain't got it. Send plans, more than likely, she about it. What he posts, more than likely, he ain't got it. Caught a wave, now we finally making noise. Y'all quiet, y'all timid, y'all shy. Illinois, put in work, finally got a sound, we got it. Illinois, y'all ain't even got no poise. Y'all know, I'm the boy, I'm the boy, I'm the boy. All right, we're back. So 8 nothing, St. Rose. They're off to a good start. Two three-pointers, one by Ebeling and one by Evan Romano. Hodges hasn't even gotten on the board yet. Shows you how good this team is. It's like a 2-1-2. Two, Driving and dishing off, getting in his Adamanis. Colleen gives off, shot is good, and Eustace is on the board from Ian Glassmacher. Three is good there from Evan Romano again. Eleven two purple roses. Colleen has to give it up, loses the ball. Ebeling has it and lays it in. Brian Ebeling and Evan Romano are the only ones who have scored, but it doesn't matter. It's thirteen to two. Hodge. Pounding Thomas Semiraglio. Baseline. Reverse layup is good there by Dylan Adomanis. Inside the Hodge dishes off. Jaden Hodge for three. Swirls out. Semiraglio up ahead. Double team. Panzini comes out with it to Matt Hodge, to Jay Nunn, to oh, travel. They call it travel. Hmm. I guess Hodge, Jaden Hodge shuffled his feet before the alley oop to Matt. We're going to call the foul on Matt Hodge. That's his first. Team second. Inside, and the layup is good for Adamanis. Romano back to Hodge, drives, lays it in. Matt Hodge's first two points of the game. That's the first move he's done. 
Feet inside and layup's no good. Ever Romano will bring it up. Panzini's open. Matt Hodge drives. Dishes it out to Jaden for three. Got it. Eighteen to six. Stolen there by Jaden Hodge. Three pointer on the way and got fouled. I got him in the nose. I think that was Romano that got it. Or Ebeling. Ebeling got fouled. It's going to be three free throws. Fouls on Delano Mann. So three shots for Ebeling. Missed the first. Got the second. Got that one. So two out of three for Ebeling. He's got 10 points. Or nine. I'm sorry, he's got nine. Up ahead. Layup, no good there by Ad Adamanis. And out of bounds, so it goes back to the Purple Roses with 101 to go here in the first quarter. Jaden drawing feet it try. Yep, Matt Hodge. I don't know how he got that pass in here, but he did. Jaden to Matt. I don't think an NFL quarterback could have gotten that in there as well as Jaden did. Uh, yeah, that's Panzini fouled him there. Third team foul. A 22.8 to go here in the first quarter. Tip, actually, the clock should have you know, went off a couple. Three. Tipped. Matt Hodge comes down with it. Up ahead, Romano missed the layup. Three seconds to go. They have to hoist it. No good. So we've reached the end of the first quarter with the score. St. Rose 22 and Bishop Eustis 6 will take a timeout and be back. You're watching the NFHS Network. Finna make common sense cool again. No tripping, I'm the man, car slipping. I'll be 20, 30, 50 high. Something to send to Uncle Sam. No, it's hit fans, only so in Fredo land. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Check his post, he ain't got it. Send plans, more than likely, she about it. What he posts, more than likely, he ain't got it. Caught a wave, now we finally making noise. Y'all quiet, y'all timid, y'all shy. Illinois, put in work, finally got a sound, we got it. Illinois, y'all ain't even got no poise. Y'all know, I'm the boy, I'm the boy, I'm the boy. Hey conductor, how about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sack. Shh, we're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick of tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? The conductor only plays his favorite. Woo!
All right, we're back. About to start the second quarter. 22 to 6 St. Rose. They'll get the ball to start the second quarter. And we do have a final from the girls' game. We'll give that to you in a second. Uh, the final down at Jackson Liberty, second half. Uh, RBC had a tremendous second half in the girls' South Jersey non public A. And Hodge will take a three and make it. Matt Hodge nails a three. And it's 25 to six. It was 23 22, Paul the sixth at the half. RBC won the game 44 26. So. Paul the Six only scored three points in the second half. And they're all foul shots. So right now it's all purple roses. Cross court. Over the glass mocker, Panzini all over him. Out of bounds. Bishop used to set a pencil. And not too far away. They're only about 15 minutes away, if that. And St. Rose from Belmar down the Jersey Shore. Monmouth County. Jaden Hodge drives and missed it. Tyler Cameron's in the game for St. Rose. Shot from Adomanis is no good, and then Purple Roses get the rebound with Panzini. And getting fouled was Cameron. So Red Bank Catholic girls will move on to the state championship game. Get it to Hodge. Drives. Oh, he missed the layup there. Looks like the foul's going to be on Glassmacher. Hodge gets the, re uh, the inbound. Romano, spin move. Back to Hodge for three. Missed it. Hodge gets his own board and lays it in. Twenty-seven six for St. Rose. And double team and a foul on Romano. That's his second. Teams first. Up ahead, trying to snag it there was glass marker, couldn't come up with it. So goes back to St. Rose. Winner of this game is against Montclair Immaculate or Morris Catholic three pointer. No good offensive board though. Back out to Cameron. Puts it up, missed it, gets his own board, and puts it in. So Maraglio has feet inside, tipped good defense there. Tried to get it to Adonamis, but now it's the Ebeling. Ebeling whips it inside, almost a travel there. Ebeling for three, missed it. Offensive rebound, and now. Crusaders come out with it. Up ahead. Oh, block. Oh, are they going to call goal 10? Yes, I think they are. And we'll give that to Colleen. So 29 to 8 now. So five minutes to go in the first half.
Oh, tried to feed it inside the Roman, Luke Roman, but couldn't get it to him. Jaden Hollingshead has checked in for Bishop Eustace. And the same with, well, Delano Man was started, so. Oh, so Hollings, the Hollings heads in. Feet inside, and the layup is good there by Jaden Hollingshead. And 29 to 10 is the score, and St. Rose will talk it over. And we'll be back. You're watching the NFHS Network. Somebody came out, did some somersaults, and uh, had a big hand there. I was just tired watching her. I guess it was somebody from Bishop Eustace, because she's going back into that section. Second half of the doubleheader. First game went to Paul the Sixth. They won the South Jersey non-public A by beating Union Catholic. 53-35. to Impressive game for the Eagles. Up ahead. Romano's got it, fakes it. Almost lost it, but Roman's got it. Got it, Ebeling. Ebeling gives off. Oh. Drawing the foul is Avery Lynch. See who the foul's on. Looks like it's on, I was going to say man, but I already had him down for a foul. Hodge and Panzini check back in. Well, I guess it's on man is first. Panzini's got it. Ebeling. Loses the ball to the ground and now stolen back. Romano gives it back. Cameron back to Romano. Spins, drives, missed it, tipped, and coming out with it is Semiraglio. It's like Matt Hodge will check back in. Underneath, and the layup is good there by Mann. 29-12. Ebeling's open. Back to Panzini. Jaden Hodge with it. Shot is over the backboard. Panzini with the offensive board. Puts it in and one. Close to going over the backboard, but it stayed on top. Fouls on man. That's a second. So Panzini will try to finish off the three-point play. And Panzini missed that one. So couldn't finish off the three-point play. Oh, 
Glassmacher feeds it inside. A oh, block by Jaden Hodge as man tried to lay it in. Up ahead to Panzini. Drew the foul, almost got the three-point play. So St. Rose is in the bonus now, although it was going to be a two-shot foul anyway. So Glassmacher picks up the foul. That's his second. Nailed the first. And got the second. And a foul on Panzini. That's a second. Feet inside, underneath, and shots no good by Killeen. Up ahead to Jaden Hodge, alley -oop. couldn't get it to Matt, and goes out of bounds. So under two minutes to go. And it's a 21-point lead for the Purple Roses of St. Rose. Ooh. Yeah, going to have a moving screen on Colleen. Not a shooting uh, foul on the bonus. So St. Rose will get it right in front of me. So we'll pass it. And timeout St. Rose. So we'll take one, two. 131 to go. It's 21 point lead for St. Rose. You're watching the NFHS Network. All right, we're back. Bishop Eustace called that timeout. Winner of this game will take on either Morris Catholic or Montclair Immaculate. St. Rose just playing their normal game right now. They beat Bishop Eustis last year in this spot. So I'm going to try to do it again and then try to win the state title. They lost to Roselle Catholic last year. Hodge, good in the foul. Matt Hodge laying it in. Fouls on Glassmacher. That's his third. And it's good. So 24 point lead for the Purple Roses. And loose ball. Crusaders come out with it. And a reverse layup. Well, drawing the foul on the play was Frank Semiraglio. 
So that's the third team foul. That's, yes. And they call it on Cameron. That's his first. First is good. And the second's no good, so one out of two. And an offensive rebound, shot's no good, but the layup is put in there by Dylan Adamanis. So it's 36-15. You know, Trying to get it to Hodge, but Eberling's pass was nowhere near him. Cut off. Thought about a three, didn't take it. 30 seconds to go. Over to Glassmacher, Ian Glassmacher. The shot is good there by Frank Semiraglio. And a foul. The point seven to go, that was not a good foul. More than half court, and now they go to the line for two. So it's going to be two shots for Matt Hodge. So with .7 to go, Hodge will shoot two. Got the first. And missed the second. So one out of two, and we've reached halftime with the score. St. Rose 37 and Bishop Eustis 17. We'll take a timeout and be back. You're watching the NFHS Network. Hey, enjoy the second half. I'm out of here. All right. Thank you. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the stage. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 12 million participants in America who take part in high school sports or activities.
High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player to get your digital copy today. All right, we're at halftime in St. Rosalie's Bishop Eustis by a score of 37 to 17. And after this break, we'll run down the leading scorers right after this. You're watching the NFHS Network. This presentation of the NFHS Network is brought to you by American Dairy Association Northeast. Your milk comes from a good place. Finna make common sense cool again. No tripping on the man, car slipping. I'll be 20, 30, 50 high. Something to send to Uncle Sam. No, it's hitting fans. Only so in fertile land. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. I'm the man. Check his post, he ain't got it. Send plans, more than likely, she about it. What he posts, more than likely, he ain't got it. Caught a wave. Now we finally making noise. Y'all quiet, y'all timid, y'all shy. Illinois, put in work. Finally got a sound, we got it. Illinois, y'all ain't even got no poise. Y'all know I'm the boy, I'm the boy, I'm the boy. Hey, conductor, how about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sacks. Shh, we're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? The conductor only plays his favorite. Woo! All right, we're back. We'll run down the scores for each team. For Bishop Eustis, Ian Glassmacher has two. Delano Mann has two. Braden, uh, yeah, Braden Killeen has two. Dylan Adomanis has six. Jaden Hollingshead has two. And Frank Simiraglio has three. For St. Rose, Tyler Cameron has two. Matthew Hodge has 13. Brian Eberling has nine. Gio Panzini has four, Jaden Hodge has three, and Evan Romano has six. So we'll take one more break, and then we'll be back with the start of the second half. Right after this, you're watching the NFHS Network. Thank <laughs> you. 
What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the stage. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yes! Be great. Participate. <laughs> The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 12 million participants in America who take part in high school sports or activities. All right, we're about to start the third quarter. It's 37-17. So it was a 22-6 first quarter for St. Rose and then a 15-11 second quarter for the Purple Roses. Winner will go to Rutgers, 7 o'clock Friday night. Take on a winner of Montclair Immaculate and Morris Catholic. Paul the Six already won the first game in the South Jersey non-public A, 53-35 over Union Catholic. And Paul the Six girls won at Jackson Liberty against St. Rose. So they'll advance to the B final, or A final, no, B final. And RBC won the non-public A girls. Crusaders have it to start the second half. No, I'll receive beat Paul the six. I'm getting confused there. <laughs> Underneath, and the layup is good there by Delano Mann. So the Crusaders off to a good start here in the second half. Rutgers Prep won the girls' non public B over St. Rose. Hodge will take a three, missed it front iron. Shot is good there by Thomas Simiraglio, his first two of the game, and it's 37-21 now. Jaden trying to get it to Matt. Jaden's going to drive, put it up, and put it in. Oh, beat Hodge off the dribble, and no good. Matt Hodge with the rebound. Simaraglio, good move, though. Romano thought about it. Three. Panzini did too. He faked it. And he. What do call it? I guess they call a foul on Panzini. I think. Yep, that's his third.
Over to Glassmacher, he passes off. And a layup is good there by Thomas Simaraglio. He's got four all in the second half here, and it's a 16-point game now. Hodge gives off. Three-pointer on the way is off the mark, but Hodge with the rebound as Cameron missed it. Long rebound, he got it. Matt Hodge, and one. And he put it in to complete the three-point play. He's got 16. And it's a 19-point lead. And shot by Adamanis was actually altered there by Hodge. Didn't touch it, but he made him. Well, now to Jaden underneath, and the layup is good. We're back to a 21-point lead now. Was 20 at the half. Simaraglio has to give it back to Colleen. Shot is good. Three-pointer. There by Glassmacher. Hodge spins, puts it up, puts it in. Jaden Hodge, he's got nine. Saved on the other end by Mann. Mann's got it, three-pointer, missed it. Panzini with the rebound. Matt Hodge, step back three, got it. Fake the drive and took the three and a timeout for Bishop Eustis. So we'll take a timeout as well. You're watching the NFHS Network. We're back. St. Rose leads 49 to 26. It's been the Hodge brothers here in the third quarter. As Matt has six points and Jaden has six points. So 12 points in the quarter. And both each or each have six. A double team now. Almost losing his footing and getting it back and putting it up and almost putting it in there was Glassmacher and Hodge just comes in and snags the ball. Back to Hodge. Deep three. Missed it. Tipped. And the Crusaders come out with it with three minutes to go in the third. Lean gives off. Man drives and back to Glassmacher. Oh, Hodge quick hands with the steal. And he lays it in.
Man gives off, but too far away. St. Rose ball. So we had a substitution, so we'll do it again. Hodge drives. Traveling's the call. Up ahead. And put in there by Colleen. Drove to the basket and got the deuce. Jaden Hodge for three missed it. And Eustace comes with that, comes out with the rebound. Up ahead to Colleen. And blocking call. So they're going to call that on Jaden Hodges first. And Ian Glassmacher will shoot two. Makes the first. A clean, I'm sorry, clean uh, with the foul shot because Glassmacher was talking to the official, I think, because the sweat on the other end, yeah, they're mopping it up on the other end. So it's clean shooting the foul shots. And he gets the second one as well. Whipped it. Lynch has it. Swing it around. Conklin over to Hodge. Gets it blocked. Mm. Got fouled. Foul is on Colleen. That's a second. Hodge will shoot two. Jaden Hodge. Got the first. And missed the second, so one out of two. Tipped. And Conklin had it, or Cameron rather, up ahead. They get it to Hodge, and he gets fouled underneath. A little scramble there. Foul is on Semiraglio. That's his third. First is good by Matt Hodge. This is another wet spot towards the middle of the court. Try to dry that off. Hodge to shoot another. And he does. So we got more substitutions here. Under a minute to go now. Yeah. 
Colleen has it. Nice move and lays it in. Colleen's got eight. 27 seconds to go. Let's see if they play for the last shot or the best shot. And Ebeling missed it, rattled out. 10 seconds. Up ahead, underneath, kicked. And it will stay with Bishop Eustace. And, and the shot is a uh, foul called as Glassmacher got fouled. Fouls on Cameron. That's a second as Glassmacher will shoot two. And the first is good. And the second is no good. And goes out of bounds, and that's the end of the quarter. Got a little messy there. But we've reached the end of the third quarter with the score. St. Rose 54, Bishop Eustace 33. We'll take a timeout and be back. You're watching the NFHS Network. <laughs> High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player to get your digital copy today. All right, we're back. And we're about to start the fourth quarter. And it's a 54-33 lead for the Purple Roses of St. Rose, the top seed and the number one team in the state. See how long the Hodge brothers stay in. Back door, Panzini will shoot two. <laughs> Foul is on Sir Maglio. That's his fourth. So Panzini will shoot two. He's two for three from the foul line tonight. Got that one. And missed that one, but Hodge with the rebound. Matt Hodge with the rebound. Feeds it in back to Jaden. And missed the slam and got a foul called. So Matt was upset he couldn't slam that home. Foul is on Thomas Simaraglio. Uh, hmm, Hodge misses the first. Got some substitutions as Evan Romano checks in along with Avery Lynch. Got 
Got that one. Matt Hodge has 22. And the screen set. Colleen gives off. And put in there by that's uh Adon Adomanis. So 21 point lead now. Three pointer by Lynch is no good. Goes out of bounds. And stays with the purple roses. And Panzini gets the inbound. Gives to Matt for three. Missed it, rattled out. And I think over the back on Panzini, let's see. Let's see what we have. We'll sort this out. I think it's on Panzini. Let's see. Yes, that's his fourth. <laughs> Trying to drive there was Colleen. Couldn't do it. Uh, intercepted underneath as they try to backdoor pass. And a wraparound foul from behind as Romano got fouled. Fouls on Hollingshead. That's his first. Not a call a shooting foul. Okay. So Romano's going to shoot two. Was going to be a side out until they said it was a shooting foul. I think Coach Falconero wants to. You might want to know what this foul situation is, I guess. Second on the maybe the team fouls. It seems like they got four already. Let's see if that's right. I guess it is four. They left it on the board. Oh, it is side out. Okay. Now we get that straightened out. Three-pointer on the way. He's good there by Evan Romano. Well, it's now 58. Maybe that was the issue of the score. 58-35. Shots no good. Matt Hodge with the rebound. Three-pointer by Lynch. Good. 61-35. So it's 61-35 with under six minutes to go here in the fourth. Timeout for Bishop Eustis. So we got 5.49 to go in the fourth. And it's... 6135 for St. Rose. You're watching the NFHS Network. All right, we're back. Bishop Eustis calls timeout. They have one left, or two left. I'm sorry. Yeah, what happened was they thought Eustis would call a 
timeout early, but it was actually St. Rose. So it was 3-3 in timeouts. I thought it was St. Rose as well, but on the board they had it different, but now it's right. Three timeouts left for St. Rose, two for Bishop Eustis. Inbounded. There we go. All right. Got the picture back. We're good. Hollingshead has it and going the other way. Charge. Fouls on Colleen. That's his third. Romano for three. Missed it. Hollingshead with the rebound. And a drive by man, no good. Up ahead to Hodge. He's all alone. And a windmill dunk. Slam for Hodge. The Hollings head. And it's stolen. Romano. Oh, the 86 right to Matt Hodge. Off the backboard. Thirty point lead now, so yeah, here come some of the bench players. And it's stolen again. Hodge. Off. And a layup good there by Romano after the miss. Sixty-seven thirty-five. Showtime for St. Rose right now. And St. Rose faithful giving a big hand. Timeout, St. Rose, probably for some substitutions. And we'll take a quick one. You're watching the NFHS Network. All right, we're back. Sixty-seven thirty-five, St. Rose with some showtime in the last minute or so. So Cameron's in the game, Lynch is in the game. So Hodges are out, and also Luke Roman is in. Oh, good and a foul for Bishop Eustace. Killeen with the two points. Fouls on Evan Romano. That's his third. Panzini will check out. So Colleen will try to finish off the three-point play. And he can't. And a rebound for Hager, who's in the game now. Yeah. 
Cameron gives off. Hager back to Cameron. They'll swing it around. Three-pointer by Lynch. It's good. Oh, boy, that was a rainbow three. Seventy thirty-seven. Colleen gives off. Glassmacher. Three twenty to go. Colleen drives. Oh, gets it blocked. And a foul. Fouls on Glassmacher. That's his fourth. He'll walk the in the other end. So Hager will shoot two. <laughs> Missed the first. See if Hager can get in the scoring column. And he got that one. So one out of two for Hager. Three-pointer. Off the mark. And Hager gets fouled underneath. A little chippy now. Three minutes to go. Fouls on Adamanis. That's his second. So Hager back to the line. The player of the game will be Matthew Hodge. 26 points. Missed that one. And got that one. So one out of two for Hager. Cross court. Nice fake. A oh, block from behind and a foul. So, it'll be a two shot foul. Or will it? Yeah, looks like they're at the line. Uh, some don't know what's going on right now. All right, so the foul is on Adamanis, so they're going to go the other way. So it's not a foul on St. Rose. Mm. To get it up ahead, you got a 10 second coming up. And they get it across just barely. Lynch has it. Three-pointer on the way. Off the mark by Hager. Gets it back. Puts it up. Missed it. Eustace comes out with it. Whip it to the other side. Have to bring it back out. Three-pointer on the way by Glassmacher's no good. Rebound for Lynch. Lynch the dribbling oh, behind the back, and the layup is good there by Hager. They're doubling him up right now. They're trying to get the steal of Sherman, who's in the game now. And a foul. Luke Roman. I think we got a technical on that. Let's see. So 
Adam Manis picks up the foul. We'll see if it's a tech, because now the substitutions. So the foul was actually on Simiraglio. He fouls out with three points. It is a technical, so one of them got a tech. I, I think it was Adam Manis got the technical. Unless it was an intentional one of the two. Roman gets the first. And he got the second. So now Lynch will shoot the tech technicals. Got that. He'll get another. And four for four on that trip for St. Rose. And he leads 78 to 37 with a minute 48 to go. And now Andrew Romano's checked in. Off the glass and good for Lynch. 80-37. Sam Simaraglio's in. Matt Barklow's in. Underneath. Uh, getting it blocked was Jordan Hollingshead. And it goes out of bounds. And actually, my clock didn't start, so I will... Put a minute 10 up. So as soon as it goes to a minute, I'll start up the clock. Romano gives it back. And the layup is good there by Luke Roman. 82-37. Now. Derek DeCastro's in the game now for Bishop. Used to stole it up ahead. Lynch trying to track it down. He does. Well, actually, no, they say he went out of bounds. So we got 35 seconds to go. Trying to get everybody in the game now. Pat Hansen is checked in for St. Rose. Thirty seconds, eighty-two, thirty-seven, St. Rose, and out of bounds. It will go back to the Purple Roses. We'll see if they just run the clock out with twenty-six point two to go. Game really not much in doubt. Nope, Romano gets fouled. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the line on that. So Andrew Romano will try to get some points here. Mm, rattled out. And couldn't get that one. So 14 seconds to go. Three-pointer. Oh, it's good. By Jordan McCormick. I guess the fans came to see that for Bishop Eustace. And that will do it. Final score is St. Rose 82 and Bishop Eustace 40. So we'll keep it here when they hand out the trophy. We'll get our player of the game. So we're going to get the uh, trophy handed out to St. Rose. 
The championship trophy is now going to be presented to St. Rose by NJSIA Assistant Executive Director Daryl Salahers. So I hand out the trophy, and as soon as we do that, we'll try to get Matt Hodge on. All right, there's the trophy handed out. All right, we'll be back. If I get Matt Hodge after this, you're watching the NFHS Network. This presentation of the NFHS Network is brought to you by American Dairy Association Northeast. Your milk comes from a good place. Finna make common sense cool again. No tripping, I'm the man, car slipping. I'll be 20, 30, 50 high. So I'm the center, Uncle Sam. No, it's hitting fans, only so in fertile land. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. I'm the man. Check his post, he ain't got it. Send plans, more than likely, she about it. What he posts, more than likely, he ain't got it. Caught a wave, now we finally making noise. Y'all quiet, y'all timid, y'all shy. Illinois, put in work, finally got a sound, we got it. Illinois, y'all ain't even got no poise. Y'all know, I'm the boy, I'm the boy, I'm the boy. All right, we're back. Player of the game, Matt Hodge, 26 points. And I guess you got going in that second quarter, uh, yeah. personally, so... Uh, got the three pointer and then you started to attack the basket. Yep. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I was trying to stay composed and uh, let the game come to me. And I think that's what I did. And, um, I think that's the team helped me out with that and gave me some good looks. So, yeah, I think your defense in that first quarter set the tone. It was a 22 to six. So right. I, I think your defense pretty much won the game early on. That's what we're trying to always uh, achieve our, our wins with. And I think that's where we do our best job with it. And that's how we get easy buckets. So as long as we play defense, we, we do, we do great. I noticed in that first game didn't win as by as much. Was it had to do with a lot with rush? You guys didn't play in nine days. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's no excuses. We didn't play for a lot of games. I I just came back from the flu. Oh. I didn't play that game, so I mean, it was kind of weird for us. But uh, I mean, we we just play every game, game by game, no matter what the score is, and we we move on. Well, last year you lost the state title, but uh, championship game. But now right. you have one more shot at it That's against right. either Montclair, Immaculate, or Mars Catholic. What are your thoughts going to going to Rutgers on Friday. I mean, that's, that's been our main goal uh, from the moment uh, we got here, me and my brother, and then the whole team when we um, when we got together. So uh, it's, it's going to be fun. We're going to try to make history for school. All right. Congratulations on the win, and good luck Thank on you. Friday. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. We'll run down the leading scores, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, for Bishop Eustis, Ian Glassmacher had six. Delano Mann had four. Uh, Braden Killeen at eight. Dylan Adam eight. Jaden Hollingshead had two. Thomas Simaraglio had four. And Frank Simaraglio had three. For St. Rose, uh, two points for Tyler Cameron. I'll try to get the final up here as they run through their high scores here. Uh, Matthew Hodger played the game with 26. Brian Eberling had nine. Avery Lynch had 10. Gio Panzini had five. Luke Roman had four. Tyler Hager had four. Jaden Hodge had 12. And Evan Romano had 10. So that will pretty much wrap it up from here. Tomorrow, we're going to have two sites. Uh, the girls, that's where I'm going to be, along with Mike Champion tomorrow. 
Uh, that's at Monroe. That would be groups two and four. That's Manasquan against Middle Township at uh, seven. Actually, the group two game goes last. Group four, Howell and Lenape begin at five o'clock. And over at Central Regional, it'll be at 430, group four, Lenape and Montgomery. And then group two will be Camden and Manasquan at seven o'clock. So that will wrap it up from here. So once again, the final score is St. Rose 82, Bishop Eustace 40 for Mike Champion. I'm Dean Perry. Have yourselves a good night, everybody.